It's taking off on here. It's... Makes it look like I'm in a hurry. Hello everyone, we are back to do our target drive today. Um, let's go ahead and enable this. So if you saw my last video, unfortunately it ended with not so great news. It um, definitely, uh, it was far too close to say, but it definitely looked like it was going to try and do a head-on collision. Not good. Um, we don't want to see that. And, um, and so, I let's use that to set expectations for this drive. It was really good on my, um, crazy hill test and a fixed Saluda and all that stuff. But, um, we're gonna see what it does on this route. Traditionally, we have done zero di disengagements on this route, I think, two times. Uh, the last time I did it, I don't believe we did because it failed this unprotected left here. And so this is probably going to be one of the, this turn right here is going to be one of the hardest parts of the entire drive. And we're going to see how that does. Okay. So we got a car coming from the left. No cars coming from the right. Okay, so it could have committed a little bit um, quicker. Uh, otherwise, obviously, it did that fine. The car on the left, I probably would have waited. Personally, actually, I probably would have gone earlier. It just needed to commit sooner, and then accelerated a little bit sooner, and then that would have been great for that situation. But yeah, so the previous situation, um, this version has been just as good as 11.4.1 for me, which is to say it's been great for me. Um, but I think it just had bad luck with that unprotected left at the very end of the last video. It, it just, it failed to detect that car properly. It was just bad timing. If I had pressed it through and it intervened with the accelerator, it would have been fine. But I, I'm trying to intervene less if I can, let the car do what it's going to do. And I think that's going to see more issues pop up because I would always intervene in areas. Okay, you need to stop, start slowing down. It's going to have to use friction brakes right here. Yep, it's using them. Uh, but it needs to, um, it's going to start having more issues because I don't intervene. Because I can intervene in certain ways that... I know it's going to help prevent potential issues. Like if I push it through an intersection versus letting it struggle through that intersection, then it will be less likely to need a disengagement. But there are exceptions. Sometimes that's the opposite. Sometimes when I push it through an intersection, it completely messes up. So we've got to keep that in mind as well. notice right here is it, it, it decelerates way too quickly from 55 to 45 it just like feels like it's jamming on the brakes and it's just and you, this is one one spot where I don't like how quickly it slows down it just it needs to slow down go to 50 it needs to cut that right in half just slow down quickly to 50 and then slow it keep continue it slowing down to 45 is what it needs to do Yep, and we should break here. That was good. Good timing on the yellow light. For no one to be at the other light to turn. Wow, okay. Well, that sucks. Okay, I want to note that there's been no phantom breaking so far at all today. Like... Maybe one time, but I can't even remember. So this spot right here, I want to note, uh, I actually did this on 11.4.1, that that went on, we had to take this route to go to Michigan um, because the highway in the section we, we were gonna go on was closed. But this light was red, there was no car here, and it was just gonna blow through this red light. That's, this was the first disengagement we had of the entire trip because it wasn't gonna stop for this red light here. Just like this. 
like wasn't gonna stop for the red light and needs to right on red and you have to stop for the red light before you go through it so that was a disengagement same exact disengagement um, from 11.4.1 same exact issue on 11.4.2 now if the light had turned green just a little bit sooner it would have been fine but because it didn't we have to count that as a disengagement unfortunately I don't know why it decides to, I, I don't know why it wants to run through that light also there's an issue should be coming up here in a sec oh maybe that won't be an issue well, it, it ch used to change lanes right about here for no reason. Just get in the left lane just, just because. It didn't need to, but it did just because I, I said the following route or something. It was like bad map data or something causing it bad map data. But it seems like that might be fixed. The reason it got previously because we actually turned up here at uh, this intersection right here. Uh, not this one, but the one past it. And so I wanted to go ahead and get in the left lane, which is actually really appropriate behavior. I was just, I was thinking it was going to go up the road further and go to the highway, but it's actually skipping that entrance ramp as well. Okay, I should be slowing down already for this light. Not necessarily changing lanes, but I mean, suppose that's really appropriate. And now it doesn't have to break all the way. And then it can probably go ahead and get back over on the right here. So I had to make that lane change because it wasn't getting over. The people were right on my bumper on the left. And it just didn't want to get over. I don't think it had quite enough space for its comfort level to change lanes. But since I initiated it, it was able to make it. So let's see how it slows down here. This was something. Yeah, so good. Uh, there are occasionally cops waiting here uh, for a speed, not necessarily a speed trap, but like waiting to see people fly through that 45 zone. I'm sure the car behind me didn't appreciate me slowing down so much, but hey, that is the speed limit. But, um,. Um, what am I trying to say? So, yeah, so as you can tell, the sky is really cloudy today. Um, I'm actually, after I'm done with Asheville, heading to the Linville Gorge to just car camp overnight. It is supposed to rain uh, the entire day tomorrow. And we have a, I guess, a, a storm coming in from the East Coast. It's just going to rain all day long. It's going to be cold, like in the upper 50s. So it's not going to be a great day. Changing lanes to follow a route. Mm, I guess that's technically a good move. It does need to be in the left lane. Um, I don't know if it necessarily needs to get over this soon, but I'm not going to deny it. I think this is totally appropriate. But yeah, and so I'm going up there. So uh, maybe I'll do some rain tests tomorrow. Uh, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to record any footage going from Asheville to Linville Gorge, but I will report if it's good or whatever. I'll report something on Twitter, I guess. This guy is getting over wants to get over on the highway and my car only let them in because it decided to slow down to 35 otherwise it probably would not have been able to do so and okay, so that's the example of where it turns the blinker on where it doesn't need a blinker we are in the correct lane so I've made this mistake more, more than once actually the left lane where that Jeep is is only uh, a highway entrance lane uh, you need to be in this lane for going to target and This map data doesn't help any of the deciphering where you're supposed to be It's taking off on here it's Makes it look like I'm in a hurry. I mean, I guess I kind of am <laughs> Mind reader. Oh, yeah, as you can see the left lane ends and goes straight to the highway and this lane is where it needs to stay it does not need to get around this truck it needs to stay in this lane all the way through oh that is not where i want to go it's it's going i want to go here this is the keep the route consistent now that is probably a much harder unprotected left and maybe we'll change it let me let me know down in the comments if you want me to try 
this. I'll show you as we pass it. That is a much harder uh, unprotected left than most. I remember doing that when I first got my license and that was pretty intimidating. I'm not sure as, as much as Chuck's unprotected left, but it's still, it's such a wide intersection. You have to really get some speed to be able to get through it uh, with any cars coming towards you. So far, so good. Um, previous updates would try and get in this left turn lane here, even though it was going straight. That is the intersection, so you have to go all the way through this intersection uh, and all the way through off to the left there. And okay, it's only on protected left, I guess, if it's in blinking yellow, which is often, but it does have a green light you can go through. Even then, it's still a pretty intimidating intersection just because of how long it, you're in the intersection. Let's see if it gets over at an appropriate time. This is a crutch. Yeah, good. So, often this whole intersection right here is backed up well beyond that dotted white line. And so it uh, isn't able to make it. So I guess, well, we're not done yet. It's stopping for truck. Okay. Maybe it did turn red and I didn't see it. So that if it did, that's my fault. Um, otherwise, yeah. So we uh, made one disengagement. There are definitely some noticeable improvements over the previous version. Oh, it's because we're in, in the navigation. Um, I should have navigated into the parking lot. It's a do target, but uh, I wanted to go the other way. Not counting that one. Uh, I'm not sure why it decided to swerve. I guess because it doesn't have a navigation route. It's like, oh, let's go into a turn lane. I guess that's the only reason why I can guess it did that. But, um, yeah. Um, otherwise, I think uh, besides trying to run the red light there, only because there was a right on red in it, I, maybe in some areas that's okay, but in North Carolina, you have to stop at the red light like a stop sign before you, before you can proceed. It can't just straight up run through the red light just because it's a right on red and just because there are no cars coming. You have to stop. Um, so that's the appropriate way to do that. Yeah, um, I will um, bring you back. We're going to go to REI and... Um, that will be our highway test, and maybe I will do that as, like, bonus footage. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how how it's going to be. Uh, so far, so good, everyone. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.